Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Casey and I are getting ready to head out on a little date to run some last minute errands in town. We're taking Juicy with us and I am wearing this, I don't remember what the brand is, but I got this turtleneck I think from TJ Maxx, maybe Marshalls. And then skirt is J. Crew. Um, these tights, I got them at Target. I love Target for their tights. I feel like they're super sturdy too. Nine bucks, not bad, right? And then Gucci slides again. I think it would have been cuter to go with the Sam Edelman heels that I was wearing the other night, but since we're running errands, I don't really feel the need to wear those. But yeah, there we go. So we went and got coffee at the, oh man, I forgot I still have a full ass coffee over here. Well, it's nice and cold now. Mm. Perfecto. Perfect. All right, I thought it would be nice to do a little bit of a festive haul. I ordered a couple things this week as treats to myself <laughs> after I make sure everybody else is taken care of and I'm really excited about it and I want to show. So I have three things. I have some things that I ordered from Revolve, a special little gift that I got myself, and then my new lease subscription for this month. All right, so first up, I treated myself to these little Mew Mew glasses. I don't typically wear sunglasses very often, but every now and again, they are nice to have. And so I saw these ones and I was like, I need, I would like those. It wasn't a need, it was just, I would like them. So I've really been liking the Mew Mew brand as opposed to the Prada. There's been a lot of like the Prada stuff that I just feel is kind of like meh. Like it just doesn't say anything to me. So I started looking into Mew Mew and there's a few other pieces that I really like. Um, so I wanted to try these out first. I really like the detailing here on the side. I am more of a gold girly. So when I saw these, I really liked these. I had also been looking at a pair of Celine glasses that I really wanted, but those had the Triumph um, symbol on the side, but in silver. And I was like, I just don't really want to do silver. And I saw these and I was like, these kind of to me say, Obviously, we like fashion a little bit girly, but I also feel like these could be super badass at just being like, I don't know, something about these said warrior in a garden to me. <laughs> and if you know, you know what I mean by that. Like I saw these and I was like, these just kind of look like, you know, you know, <laughs> so. I'm super happy with these. They're really nice. I also have a really big head. So the Tiffany ones that I have tend to kind of like push my ear down because they're a little bit shorter and these are perfect. So I'm really pleased with them. All right, let's continue. Really excited about those sunglasses. I just thought they'd be really cool. They fit, I feel like, the style that I want in sunglasses. I tend to lean more towards like an edgy, style anyways and so when I saw those and hopefully what I asked for for Christmas it'll they'll go perfectly and it'll just all come together I'm gonna open my newly stuff so I've shared several times here and on my Instagram that I order from newly every month it is just a monthly subscription I've really enjoyed it through my pregnancy I've enjoyed it post postpartum especially just when you're in that like awkward stage 
and for me i tend to be a person that like if i am taking care of myself obviously not just exterior it goes without saying like taking care of my mental and emotional well-being and like spiritual health and all of that but like i'm not gonna lie when i tell you guys that like i like to look cute i want to do my hair i want to do my makeup i want to dress in cute clothes and when i take care of myself in those ways too like i feel like i just show up in my life better so i've really enjoyed the experience of being able to rent things especially as i kind of try different things and see like what my what i want my style to be like not feeling like i have to buy a bunch of new clothes every time my style changes as well um so this one is an urban outfitters sheer dress and i thought this would be really fun for new year's um because this is something that i feel like I would feel really cute in all dressed up it's just this like really sheer fabric with these little sequins on it and also still like comfortable enough to just party in your living room this one was a little bit more pushing it towards that like edgy style again if i get the christmas present that i asked for it'll all just like flow together really easy i'm trying to find somewhere like in between um and i don't know if this will make sense to anybody but like I tend to be more conservative like in my values and in my practices and just like just in general um, with the way that I am in life but I also recognize that like being heavily tattooed and like liking the kind of music that I mean like I wouldn't say music because music for me is like a full spectrum um, but I just tend to be I guess like the best way that I would describe my personal style is like Persephone right in the spring and summer I want to be a little fairy in my garden eating fruit going to the farmer's market natural hair just very like outdoorsy and in the colder months I tend to um care more care more about like I, I really enjoy the fashion in the colder months I also push the envelope a little bit more in terms of like darkness I guess so I got these um this is pushing it a little bit for me even so they're like these built-in brief shorts with this like fishnet mesh I have these Bottega boots that I bought a couple of years ago that I just felt would be perfect to go with this dress I could even just do a turtleneck with this and um i don't know I'm trying to figure that out kind of but i just thought this would be really fun and then especially like if you just wear a really nice big coat over this it'll seem less extreme okay i do live in the south and i feel like sometimes this oh, i live in the south i should say and i feel like that has played a big part in me being like how far can I push my personal style like nobody dresses like this um I'm finally just getting to this point in my 30s where I'm like dude who cares we gotta roll with what we like I can see pushing it again back onto the other side of things right I've got these cute Maeve brand shorts and these are sequins with this um it's not tweed what would you call this plaid maybe not plaid not entirely sure but i saw these and i was like how cute are these again wear these with a turtleneck i was thinking to do stockings or tights underneath um you could wear some docks with this you could um do a cute little kitten heel that i'm showing you guys that i have so i'm really loving this one and i plan to be wearing these this week again more on like the soft girl side of things i got this um, wool cardigan I like the detail here of how it cinches in at the waist a little bit more and then um, I don't know what would you call this like kind of skirts out like flares out this is also a Maeve um, cardigan and I just thought that was like really cute and I'm just probably going to wear this with a bralette underneath and hmm definitely not denim because i feel like that would be more relaxed than i would like i'm thinking that i would do like a short black 
pair of shorts with stockings on this one, I guess. And they sent my order today in two, ba two bags because I did get two coats. Um, I've really, really been loving red recently. I would say like a candy apple red type. Um, maybe like a Valentine's red is what I'm thinking. But then I got this burgundy. It's almost like a deep, deep plum. It looks a little bit more purple on camera than it is in person, but again, it's got a little bit of an edgy detail here. I just thought this is just fabulous. I feel like something that I've been playing with a lot is to mix like really high-end pieces with stuff that you find in your thrift stores. Like I love to thrift. I say it time and time again. I'm like, you guys, thrifting is like a treasure hunt. You can find designer things in there. You can find fabrics that are still real and not polyester and you can find some really good things and i feel like if you are really interested in developing your personal style you can really go far on a smaller budget if you know what to look for in a thrift store and so one of those things i think is that like if you can really keep an eye out for pieces like a nice coat quality wool cashmere sweaters, um, pants especially. You can find a lot of shoes there sometimes. Like I was telling my mom yesterday, I was like a lot of my shoes that I wear, like my nice heels and, and stuff like that that I wear to church, like those are all thrifted that I find just kind of clean and you're good to go. feel like having a coat, like a nice coat really will elevate your whole look. And then the last piece that I got was another coat and this one was just a nice gray one. I like that it cinches in at the waist and it has this really cute bow detailing on here because it's like right now I just feel like you can't go wrong with the bows, period. I'm wearing this little one that I got at Target in the kids section. Um, I actually just ordered another one from Amazon that I saw um, Lydia Mien. I think I said that right. It's like a claw claw grip hair clip with like bows on it and I was like sign me up. Especially because I like to like day to day, right? When you're just making breakfast and cleaning the house or whatever, I like to have my hair clipped up. Anyways, it's so long that to have it clipped up and it's got like the little bow detail on it, I'm like that's a little thing that just elevates and I don't know, it just makes me feel better. So I got this nice gray coat, super excited about that. So I felt like I got some really good stuff in here, some nice things for post Christmas, New Year's, um, and just like really kicking off the new year on a very stylish front. Okay, so last bit, I ordered a couple things from Revolve. Um, so the first thing I got was these pair of shoes from Lovers and Friends. I follow another vlogger here who's based out of Nashville. Her name is Rachel and she did a collection with Lovers and Friends. And I looked it up and there was a couple things in here that I did like. And so, namely, I saw this pair of shoes and I was like, okay, those look really cute. I'm really into the red right now. Um, really liking Slingback as well. And so I ordered these. And then I ordered a really nice pair of denim. This is by the, the brand Girlfriend. And I've just been looking for like a really nice pair of denim that has a little bit of a flare on it so I can wear some heels. Um, and you know, just something nice to be able to go on like a more of a casual date. I was actually hoping that this would be here sooner today so that I could wear this out when Casey and I went out. But um, this literally just got here like 30 minutes ago. I feel like this, the denim on this feels really good, so I'm excited to try this on. So I got this wool turtleneck. This is also by the brand, the brand Girlfriend. Um, it is a lot thinner than I felt like it looked like on the website. It is 100% wool, and I don't know. I think I was just kind of hoping for more of like an oversized fit. I might end up returning this, I'm not sure, but it does fit the shoes quite perfectly. So I'm gonna try this on really quick and then show you guys and then we'll we'll make a decision. <laughs> this is kind of mortifying to share <laughs> in public, but this was an absolute fail for me. Um, I'm still thinking about the shoes. The shoes did fit 
but this top is like way more snug than I would have wanted. I do like the length of the sleeves, but like the rest of it just, like I like to wear bralettes anyways because I'm still breastfeeding and anytime that I wear wire, it just gives me clogged ducts. It's horrible, but like this just doesn't do anything for me. And the fabric on this is like super thin. And like if I had bought this, like look at this guys. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Like, okay, if these actually fit, I think they'd be super cute on the butt. But when I tell you that the gap on these is insane, like, <sighs> I'm so glad that I've done the work to be kind to my body after having babies because had I not, this would be terrible. Um, <laughs> Let me get out of this. Yeah, that was my little... <laughs> this is why I rent clothes, guys. This is exactly why I rent the clothes. So I'll leave a link out in the description box if you guys want to try the Newly. It'll give you $20 off your first bag. Um, this is why I do it. It's because it's just nice to be able to try different things and then get familiar with the sizing of different brands as well so that you don't end up buying stuff and now to make a return which is like i know my adh girlies know what i'm talking about right now when i say that like i gotta make a return yeah. <laughs> right, i just got orange to lay down put my hair up in the heatless curlers i got a bigger one because my hair is so long i felt like the other one i was like really having to crank it in there and i really wanted some bigger softer like fluffier curls so we'll see if this one is any better um it is a little bit harder too with the layers that i got on my hair i feel like they stick out a little bit but especially when that's the end i don't think it's that big a deal because i can just tighten those up in the morning those up tomorrow and give them to my neighbors. We've also got church in the morning. And I also have another round of cinnamon rolls. Well, dough fermenting overnight, I should say. I told Casey when I was done and clean, like finish up cleaning the kitchen, I was like, I am not baking anything else until the new year. I'm so tired. Um, I broke my pastry cutter. That's how much I've used it recently. Came unscrewed and... Oh my goodness. I am wiped out, guys. This week has been exhausting. I've been doing nothing but eating. I feel like we're cooking. All right. This is the last gift for Christmas 2023. So excited about this little one. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't like it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm so excited for Viv to get this because this character died like three episodes ago and we were just devastated by it but i saw this this funko and this was not on her list right but i saw this funko and i saw it with all the scars on her face and i'm like she has to make a comeback so 
when I saw the, this one, I was like, I feel like um, she'll be so excited. Um, I've had a really good time vlogging this, this Christmas. Um, I've had a really good time with my mom. I had a good time, simple time shopping and just kind of cooking and baking and like, I think this was really the year for me that I'm like, I kind of like myself. I like just being myself. I didn't feel pressured or forced, whether that's like coming from my own beliefs and patterns or like on the outside to be anybody other than who I believe myself to be. And yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up. We'll see you guys here for Christmas Eve, day 24 tomorrow. Have a good night.